Good morning, Los Angeles. Given that more than 60% of fans cannot see Dodger games on television because of the onerous TV deal the Dodgers cut with Time Warner Cable, what do you think the Dodgers did with ticket prices for next season? Yeah, sadly, you're right. Hi, I'm Bill Plasky, Sports Columnist, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake-up call. The Dodger fans can wake up today to higher ticket prices for next year in nearly every seat in the stadium, including up to 48% increases in some spots. Now, in the Dodgers' defense, they still have what they say is the lowest average ticket price of any major pro sports team in town. Their average ticket price is still lower than the major league average ticket price. They certainly have no trouble selling these tickets. They lead the league in attendance the last three seasons. Their season ticket waiting list is several thousand people, so their supply and demand, there is certainly a demand for it. However, not in their defense, but very offensive is the fact that now for the last couple years, a lot of their fans can only see their games by going to the stadium if they're charging them more to get into the stadium. So the Dodgers on one hand take $8 billion, $8 billion from Time Warner Cable to show games on a TV channel that more than 60% of the fans can't get. Yet, so that therefore driving those fans to Dodger Stadium, yet when they get there, they're charging more for the fans to get to the Dodger Stadium. So the fans get it coming and going. The, the, the most typical thing on this whole TV debacle was recently Vin Scully did a tremendous, tremendous interview talking about how next year's his last year, talking about starting the farewell tour for Vin Scully. The problem was it ran on, you guessed it, Time Order Cable, where 60% of the fans can't see it. So Scully is giving the fans a chance to say goodbye, except the fans who want to say goodbye can't see him give them a chance to say goodbye. This has me all messed up. This TV debacle is incredible. And now combined with the ticket price increase, it just gets even worse. And hey, but Dodger fans can still take heart that this all this money is going to a team that hasn't made the World Series since 1988. That's 27 years and counting. You can read us at LATimes.com. Follow me on Twitter at Bill Plaschke. Have a great day.